No doubt, what seemed to be an easy start to the White River was no more. The waterway was shallow, narrow, full of boulders and choked with debris. The uppermost sections of rivers are often like this, and this was no different. Now you gotta go under it. Yeah. We got one log jam. Let's head it on the right side. Right side? Yeah. Here, I'll get it. We come closer. Ready? One, two. Hold on. One, two, three. Two, three. Might be able to get in. Yeah? Yep. Okay. You get in first? Yep. I'm going to try to get up on the rock over here. Narrow, eh? Yeah. Just about to approach a bridge, and the train just crossed right now. You can hear it. It's in the foreground there. I know. <laughs> Get out. Hold on, I'll, I'll get it. Okay, so we've come down from there. We're basically hand paddling, <laughs> but uh, we have seen evidence like here of people passing before. I mean, it's an old cut uh, piece of cedar, but uh, as you can see, it's it's been a long time. But we're now approaching the train bridge, the train I just passed just a few minutes ago. We're just going to drag it and walk the canoe down. There we go. Right to my rock climbing. I think we'll just have to try to stick to the left side here. Yeah. We won't be able to oh. Maybe not. <laughs> oh, dude. He's been walking. Yep. <laughs> we be walking. We're going to want to try to put it through there. Oh, you want to walk it there? Yep. So we just uh, came past the, the train tracks. You can see it right here. I'm just stopping for a little bit of a break. Seems like we'll have a little bit of a paddle before we run into whatever obstruction comes next. And uh, he's throwing in his line, seeing if there's something 
Any fish in the water. It's a beautiful section, but it's definitely a little bit of work getting through. Um, but uh, it's part of the uh, part of the fun, part of the adventure. Just have to keep slogging away. Well, as you can clearly see, the paddling didn't last very long. What was interesting was that the river was actually pretty deep, but it was full of big boulders, which of course made it shallow for the canoe. But if you missed a step... Oh. Oh. Yep, you'd sink right in. Okay, we've come to a split in the river. Um, it all goes the same spot, but this is what we're dealing with on this side. Very shallow. Uh, we would definitely have to be dragging, walking the canoe. It's better that way? Oh yeah. This is worse. This is definitely worse. Yeah, it's more. Your your way is actually more direct, eh? Yeah, okay. We know which way we're going. It's not this way. So it hasn't really been getting any better. You can see this. We saw this uh, on the sat map and we were hoping that it was more like a gravel, sandy, but as you can see, it's not. It's big boulders and a narrow creek or river, the White River. So we're gonna get back in. Seems to be more deeper sections ahead, and, but uh, I think the routine is Get in, paddle short distance, and then drag. Let's hope for more deeper water. So we grounded out, but we got a nice big drop here. We're gonna have to walk it down. Okay, I'll get up. Ooh. Deep. Okay, yeah, we'll maybe able to move this one. Yeah, or do we want to lift it over? It might be easy. Yeah? We got extra height. I think it's actually better to lift it on top. Okay. Hold on. Oh, hold on. Lift in the... Ready, boys? Yep. <laughs> I can't get a good grip. Okay. Oh, oh god. I can't. Is that This boat's gonna have some white. What's that? This boat's gonna have some white. Marks. Woo! Woo! Oh! 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 Okay, water is low compared to the spring. You look at that. Yep. What? Three feet? The sun was out and the area we were traveling through was beautiful, but our rate of travel completely slowed to a crawl. Reason why this section likely hadn't been traveled in decades, if not longer. Despite our momentary reprieve from the short paddles, the challenges never stopped. We encountered every imaginable obstruction along the way. What sometimes looked like a beaver dam was actually a jumble of loose debris and wood held back by a fallen tree. 
The footing was also much worse than a dam built by a beaver, as you'll see. <laughs> it's not very structural. No. <laughs> This thing is, is, is not strong. It was a um, building code inspected. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing stable. Oh. The only thing that's stable is that spruce. If flyweight Ben was struggling with footing, I certainly wasn't going to be immune to it. <laughs> the only thing you can stand on here is the spruce. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> Grab on to one of those. <laughs> As you can see, this definitely was no beaver dam. The river almost had me for lunch. Okay. Ready? Yep. One, two, three. Oh, God. Hey, let me get a little Muscles? Yeah. Yeah. Too yeah. old. These piles of wood and debris are big and are created by high water levels in the spring. They are also dangerous strainers when the water is high, but for us, they are simply more hurdles along the way. Okay, it looks like we are coming to the end of another rocky section. It's going to be a little bit of work to get the canoe down but it looks like there might be some marshy section and we might be able to paddle a little bit. Okay so Ben's just going to go check to see which is a better way through and then we'll proceed. Oh way easier. Yeah. Holy. Yeah it's like Teflon. Okay hold on. Yeah. This section had too many rocks and there was no clear way through, so we portaged our gear to the end and dragged an empty boat. So it is just past one o'clock oh and uh, <laughs> we just came out of a, a pretty rough section where we actually had to get our gear out of the canoe, portage a short distance and get the canoe over here. Uh, as you can see the barrels here and we've got some flat rock here so we're gonna have a little bit of lunch it looks like there's some marshy section coming up it'll give us more opportunity to to paddle and <laughs> make some distance but yeah we're pretty hungry from all the dragging this morning so uh, it's been quite the adventure so far but uh, time to eat So we have come on to a widening and the marshy section. So it's nice. We're able to paddle a bit now. So the paddle was nice, but now we're coming on to a series of rocks and big beaver dams. And it looks like uh, back to the narrow uh, river with rocks. It's, uh, it's amazing, this, you got this wide marsh, but there are still lots of rocks in the water. More hauling, eh? Yeah, we'll have to take the barrels out of the next one. Okay. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna lift. Yep. Okay. There we go. Okay, so keep I'm coming up. It. I'm gonna lift them down side. Okay. We're gonna f 
crashed his boat. Oh, sorry. You okay? Yeah. Hold on. I come over. Then, it was some exciting ping-pong action down a narrow, shallow stretch. Okay. Just that time spot what's going on. Yep. He dropped a bit more there. Okay. How's it look? I can tell. Gets a bit more. I can stop. Huh? One. Yeah. You can stop a bit closer. We'll get parked up on this rod. Uh, we're okay for a bit. Okay. Yeah. I'll go to the left and then move through. Okay. I'll have to get a move. You have to move the boat. I'm free. Like, if you can push off. Well, I'm on the rock. Okay. okay we got to go right. Yep. Not yet. Can't drive? No, I, I don't think so. Some tight rapids and uh, a lot more drop after that big log jam. As you can see, continues to drop. It's too tight. So we're gonna take a barrel to lighten up the canoe and then we'll drag it down. So I just portaged the barrels, uh, Ben and I, down to the bottom, and we'll get into the canoe. So as you can see, the canoe is up there. It's really pretty here, but uh, Ben just found something. What'd you find? Uh, an ancient tackle box. No way. <laughs> and I was close in the rocks. Look at how much dirt oh. is in there. Wow. Holy. And on the other oh, side. Oh, it's, it's actually broken apart. It's degraded. Yeah. Oh. oh, there might be some lures. No, nope, the lures the are completely rusted away. Yeah, yeah. And there's nothing left. Wow. Flies, nothing, nothing, nothing left. Hmm. Huh. That's been here for uh, oh. some time. So someone obviously lost it. Oops. 
I can understand if they're trying to paddle through this section or get through this section, it's easy enough to to dump. I mean, we had a pretty hairy section, but we were able to get uh, the canoe back in control. But yeah. All right. Well, let's go uh, bring that All canoe down. down. Yep. Okay, we finally hit the confluent of Kawagagama Creek or something. So it's going to add a little more volume to the White River and hopefully the rest will be a little easier, but I think we're coming up on some rapids. We can hear some water tumbling, so it should be exciting. Okay, here we go. I'm not used to these motions. Not the paddling, I think mostly the dragging. Yeah. Okay, let's start left a bit so we don't get into it. Okay. Okay, we might be okay. We'll hit, but go a bit more right. Yep. And left. Yep. Keep going left. Yep. And that start hurt. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Go. Woo! Nice. Oh yeah, you want to fish? <laughs> Here, it really looks deep. Yeah. So this is the next marked rapid on the river, and as you can see, it, it is a good drop. And uh, I mean, we could get through there, but we just don't know. We wanted to go check it out, and I think we found our first portage, and Ben just headed up to see. What it looks like so i'm going to join him and we'll go check it out it's definitely a portage you can see there's a drop just beyond this so what we'll do is we'll get uh, the canoe down and we'll check it out from around the, the side here it's just a little steep to get down you can see there's a cut log here as well too but this was a long time ago you got the old man's beard growing out of it yeah. So no one's been here for probably a long, long time. Okay, first official portage of the trip. So we just cut out this whole area. It was just chalked in with vegetation and uh, it's pretty uh, clear now. It's easy for us to get the canoes down. But it's pretty steep, it goes right up. And, uh, but it's short, it's probably about 50 meters or so. Just at the end of a portage and now uh, we looked up you can see a halo it's cool usually mean there's more rain coming that's not cool <laughs> so this is a small falls that we just bypassed portaged around there's a portage there and there's the drop yep we definitely had to portage that one so the good thing was we've been able to paddle a bit. Um, there's, we knew that there was going to be some oxbows here, and uh, the water is deep. We just passed the second uh, uh, confluence with another creek that's flowing in, so more water is a good thing. And now we've been able to actually just paddle, which is great. Bridge. So they built. Uh, huh. They must have had a concrete bridge before and yeah. moved the middle and put that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Cool. I might actually want to go a little bit closer that way.
You want me to come out? Uh, hold on. Try to paddle and make it. Get okay, ready? Yep. Yeah. I'd laugh if we got to tuck a saw in our car while we were there. <laughs> you get ready. Yeah. Ready? Ready, ready Freddy? Nice. So, paddling has been fine still, and we're kind of guessing that we're probably a couple kilometers more till um, Saginaw Lake. It's just more oxbows, but uh, they're not really tight, so it's not too bad. And the good thing is, it's easy paddling. If you call it if you call it easy paddling in a canyon. <laughs> <laughs> there is no easy paddling in a canyon. Now it's uh, kind of warm and muggy. I don't think it's, it's too bad. It's not too hot. No, it's it's a that's why I said yeah, warm. warm. Yeah, it's not hot, just warm. It's good. And uh, it's just that, you know, late afternoon, you just kind of feel... I was falling asleep back. Then. Yeah, you just feel... I, I don't know if you saw me. I was doing my own thing. You <laughs> too. <laughs> we were both falling asleep. <laughs> like I said, it's just that afternoon, nothing's going on, lethargic. just gentle paddling. We're just kind of like lethargic and hot. So, oh well. We'll get there. So, we just arrived oh, at. That's what smells. Oh, that's. Yeah. Hold on. That's a, that's a, that's a moose. Oh. Well, we just arrived at the highway, 17, but it just reeks. And there is a moose kill right here. You see the head right there and the ribs over there. We were wondering what the smell was. Ben was thinking that it was uh, cat crap again. The head is underneath the canoe, but you can see the ribs and it just reeks. And you can see the lakes. There's, I think there's a lake on the shore there, right there. Yeah. Wow. Now you got stench on the canoe. There's the moose head. That's a big head. That's huge, actually. Wonder what happened to this one. Highway 17 bridge, baby. Pull that right there? Yeah. Is it all sand? Yep. So we are just across the end of the bridge of the South White River. That's what the sign says. It's the White River nonetheless because it meanders south and will eventually cross the road again at some other point. We made it. Mm hmm. Saginaw Lake next. Yep. So we just officially entered Sag Sag Sagina Lake. Sagina Lake. You want? The problem is the, the river after this. I'll save you the pain. We were happy to reach Saginaw Lake as we had no idea when we'd get there based on the challenges we knew we'd face on the upper stretch of the Hawaii. From here on down, we knew it was paddleable, so our biggest concern was now past us. So we focused our efforts on trying to find camp for the night, which ended up being our next challenge. So we're just looking for a campsite. This there's always a challenging part. You can see the road and highway over there, vehicles passing by, but we're just looking for some open spots so we can set up camp. It doesn't have to be any fancy. So here's a tip. Usually when we're looking for a campsite, <clears throat> besides looking for things like points and islands, if it's dense forest, I try to tend to look for bigger, mature trees, only because quite often it's killed off any of the smaller uh, brush 
and oftentimes there's usually uh, flat spaces where you can set up a camp or a tent and things like that so uh, we saw this and you can definitely see an opening but uh, whether it's capable Glenn, Ben's uh, checking right now dense with trees yeah we can't even put a tent here okay Yeah. Like even if it's if it's abandoned road, yeah. you'll know you'll find a flat spot, right? Yeah. Totally. So looking on the map, it uh, shows a logging road just by the river and the lake itself. So we're wondering if people access the lake through this logging road. But we haven't seen any access. So we're just gonna bushwhack and see if we can find this road. Might also be a place where we can camp. So we're just gonna keep walking and hopefully it's very close, but it's not looking. What's that? Yeah. We never found the road and it was too deep in the forest so we decided to move on and continue the search. So we've continued the search for the campsite. Uh, we had one that was a possibility, um, but we decided to kind of move on. Uh, it was very shallow water. And we were kind of hoping to swim. And uh, if there are sections like this where the water is deep and where we can camp, it might be more ideal. Then it's just checked, in, um, just right up here to check amongst these. Uh, black spruce and uh, jack pine. So, see if there's something there. Otherwise, we just keep going down the river and hopefully something will show up. Wanted to, but. Yeah. All right, we found something. We just uh, saw this clearing and it looked promising and flat spots, perfect. Oh. Yeah. So check it out, we got our camp set up. Got the bug shelter. There's definitely uh, black flies, uh, mosquitoes, and deer flies, horse flies. Got a clothesline. Things are drying because of the humidity and the rain yesterday. And we've got our tent right here. So everything's all ready, set to go. We're just gonna get our kitchen set up and uh, dry some more stuff up and then we'll get to supper going. And uh, we might even go for a little dip. It's a sandy uh, base on the river. So it won't be like mucky. So we might be able to go for a little dip to clean up. Otherwise, everything turned out pretty well. So the 10 hour day, uh, not a lot of distance, but we got uh, the unknown part done. At least we know that the rest of this uh, route won't be as difficult or the portage will be cut. So um, it's good that we got that over and uh, let's see what uh, tomorrow holds. So, Okay, we are in the bug shelter. We feel a thousand <laughs> times better because we just went swimming. Mind you, Ben had uh, like 40 uh, <laughs> blood, leeches. yeah, leeches on him. One huge one and tons of small ones. So we went swimming and Ben's got a whole bunch of leeches, including a huge, uh, humongous one. So he's gonna have to start taking them off. I got like All one on me. All the little ones roll off. Yeah. But the big one, Wow. You need some salt. Or I can just have it. Just pull it off. Yeah? I've always just pulled them off, but. Oh, and one here too. So I wonder where you got those ones, because I went to the sand area and I said, like, you know what, I guess I should check my feet a little closely, but I took oh, a quick one. Another one right here? Yeah. You went to the mother load. All right, I better check my feet too. Actually, I wasn't, you're right, I wasn't even that in there for that long. But anyhow, the bugs are pretty fierce out there. It's still a, bit, a little bit of everything. So uh, we pretty much got in here as soon as possible, but I think we've got quite a few bites. But anyhow, uh, we're having supper tonight. Oh, supper tonight. Spaghetti tonight. <laughs> of course we're having supper. We're starving. And I'm um, looking forward to a good meal, trying to dry off a bit and uh, relax. It was a good day. So we're just having supper now. And we're having actually one of my favorite meals. I know it's boring, but for me, I don't know why. 
it's it's kind of like a comfort food for me and it's spaghetti Let's see here so he's put a bunch of meat and uh, just uh, he was too busy so he, did, he usually makes a pretty good sauce but this one used uh, store-bought store-bought yeah he was rushed so he dehydrated that put a bunch of beef and uh, still really delicious we just put a bunch of uh, black pepper and a bunch of chili flakes to give it some heat and mm. we were starving today 10 hours what do we have three bars total between the two of us four meat sticks small ones no, one wrap each. One wrap each. And a couple of handfuls of trail mix. Yeah. So, and we expended a lot of energy um, at the upper section of the white, especially with a lot of the drags. So, we were pretty hungry. Thanks, Ben, for supper My and pleasure. for spaghetti. I could eat this every day, every night. Mm. It was an early night for us due to the long day and restless sleep we had the previous night. But it was a good day, and a great start to our adventure on the White River, and we look forward to what else lay ahead. It's moose directly in front of us. He's eating. It looks rapid. like there's a little rapid! <laughs> Not much, but we'll take it. Oh, he's got it. So we're just using some lemon uh, pepper spice this time. I think this cabin once upon a time had a name. <laughs> Not anymore. Yeah. There's a rock right yeah. there. Thank you. 